Good morning, Booktube, YouTube. This is Johnny. Thought I'd make a quick video. The, uh, the days just keep going by during the COVID plague, pestilence. Here in West Michigan, it is December the 8th. 2020 it is 8 34 in the morning it is uh outside as i look around it is a cold dreary damp cold day it's supposed to get warmer it's supposed to be like in it's supposed to get mild but we live along the lake michigan and uh, the weather is as you go inland is different but anyway it's it's another day, a new day. I thought I'd, like I said, make a quick video, do an update on what I've been reading the last couple of days. As far as writing in my diary this morning, uh, I haven't even written anything yet. I just, I got up around 7.15. My wife left to go grocery shopping and I've been sitting in the living room trying to wake up to another day, but I'm on page 1,183 this morning in my paper diary. I have an online diary, as I've mentioned. Sometimes I wish all my diaries were online from 1968 until now, but that would be impossible. Uh, one thing about having an online diary, which starts in March of 2001, that that's, I can read those diaries, but if the diaries I have down the lower level just go to 1978, and I rarely get those out. I rarely read my diaries from the 70s, 80s, 90s. I just, they're too hard to get to. They're on, they're stored away and but sometimes I like to be able to look back like what I did in December of 1981. But anyway, like I said, this is an update. What I've been reading in the mornings, like I said, I'm still kind of out of it in the mornings. I, I just, I don't know what it is, but I have been primarily reading the uh, this book I showed you. The East Orthodox Church and New History by John Anthony McCluckin. So I've been reading this uh, in the mornings. And I've been still been reading uh, the Bible. I'm reading through the uh, first book of... I can't remember. The first book of Kings. I've been reading that. Uh, in the Old Testament, the first book of Kings, uh, I'm on chapter, I'm on chapter 11 of first Kings in the Bible, reading the book of Psalms, and, uh, I got these books to look at this week, uh, The Word in the Desert, Scripture and the Quest for Holiness in Early Christian Monasticism by Douglas Burton Christie. So I've been looking at that. Uh, so I've been looking at this. And I've been looking at History and Spirit, The Understanding of Scripture According to Origin by Henri de but the Lubbock, Henry D. Lubbock. And I've been reading Anthanasia, uh, The Life of Anthony in the Letter to Marcellus. And I've been reading his letter to Letter of Anthanasia, our Holy Father, Archbishop Alexander to Marcellius on the interpretation of the Psalms. That's what I've been reading in here. So I've been looking at these books in the morning, but primarily reading this book. As 
far as what I've been reading the last couple of days, I've been reading still Oliver Wendell Holmes' A Life in War, Law, and Ideas. Like I, well, this is, um, this is a Tuesday, but as you all know, I watch, we watch football on Saturdays and Sunday. Last night we watched Monday night football. So I haven't been reading that much, but I've been reading this. I've read, oh, almost half of this. Really enjoying it. And then I've been, uh, I got a book in the mail Friday and, um, I've showed this in the past. This is the Diaries of Emilio Riaz, the, the Happy Years by Ricardo Pigalelli. He's an Argentina writer. And this is his diaries. He passed away in 2017. And over his writing life, he kept diaries, notebooks. He had 350 of them. And he knew he was going to die. He got Lou Gehrig's disease. And before he died, he he got out all his notebooks, 350 of them, which covered his life from when he was 16 years old up until his death. He always kept these notebooks. And what he did, he before he died, he prepared them for publication. And so I, I finished, I'm almost finished with this one, The Diaries of Emilia Reyes, The Formative Years. And this covers from 16 years old up until, I think, in the 60s and his 20s. And it's just his day-to-day, -day, like, it's like a diary. And he talks about, well, as you read through his life, about becoming a writer, what does it mean to be a writer, what he's writing, the, his friends and his love, his lovers, his ups and downs. So I've been reading this, and I have the middle one, which I'm going to start reading this week. The Diaries of Emilio Reyes, The Happy Years. So I got this one a while back, and I never, uh, this came out in 2018. And then I finally got the last one, last week. Uh, the Diaries of Emilia Reyes, The Day in the Life by Ricardo Pigalelli. These are translated by Robert Kroll. So this is what I plan to read the month of December. I'm still going to re read these and finishing. So I started this one, Volume 1, and then you have Volume 2. And then volume three. So I've been reading these. Well, I've been reading primarily the first one, which I'm about to finish. So that's what I'm reading, and that's what I'm writing, and that's what's going on in my existence. Like I said, I'm, I don't know what it is. Uh, sometimes I get this way the end of the year, December, the last month of the year, you look over your life and I'm getting next year I'll be 69 years old I'm feeling the aches and pains of old age and and uh, this COVID-19 is kind of I'm getting sick of it <laughs> uh, I just want things to get back to normal uh, so yeah I, we uh, Yesterday, my wife and I, we did leave the house. I had to, we had to go get sunflower seeds and crack corn for our birds that we feed. And I stopped at, we stopped at thrift stores. I, I bought a few things, but we went to this deal in public library and I found some books. But I'll show those in a future video. So, uh, not much else going on. Like, I'll be writing in my diary this morning. Uh reading the Eastern Orthodox Church and New History and reading the diaries of Emilio Reyes, the formative years. Reading Oliver Wendell Holmes, Life and War and Law and Ideas. Oliver Wendell Holmes was a, he 
first he was a he was, he was on the Massachusetts Supreme Court the turn of the century, and then he became uh, a U.S. Supreme Court judge. So it covers his life. And that's about it. So I thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you for your comments. And uh, hope you're having a good reading week. This is a Tuesday. Tomorrow's a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, I have a book coming in the mail, a novel that I ordered. Uh, yesterday I got some field notes in the mail. A lot of books... I've been pre-ordering, which won't come out until n next year. So anyway, I'll sign off. Once again, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for new subscribers. And until next time, bye.